Hi everyone, it's Nicole again, and today I have a really sweet and simple shaker card that I'm going to be showing you how I created today. I think this is really fun, and shaker cards are still really popular right now, so that's cool. Um, I'm going to start off by using um, Baked with Love along with the coordinating dies. So much to say. The stitched rectangle stackables dies. I'm going to be using the small set and the small stitch circle stackable die as well. Another Lanfon product I'm going to use is the Lawn Fundamental Dye Ink in Hippo and a couple of Copic markers and the Spectrum Noir marker too. Oh, and some pretty pink posh sequins also for the shaker part. So to start off, I'm going to go ahead and take the 5 by 3 and 3 fourths of an inch stitched rectangle die and I'm going to go ahead and cut that out on my cuddle bug and some 100 pound white cardstock. Okay, now that I have that cut out, I'm going to go ahead and take that circle, the stitch rectangle circle. It could be um, a plain circle also, but um, I only have the stitched circle set, so I'm using the two and a half inch circle here. And I'm going to go ahead and tape that down and then just run this through the cuddle bug so that I have a little window for the, the shaker part of the card. And then I'm just going to go ahead and set this circle aside. I could use that for another project. Okay, so now that I have this panel, I could go ahead and start doing my stamping. So I'm going to be using these cupcakes and this cupcake stand. And I want to use this um, Have a Sweet Birthday um, sentiment, but I'm not quite sure it's going to fit. So that's the reason why I also pulled out the um, So Much to Say stamp set. And then here I have a rough draft um, of what I wanted the card to look like. So I'm going to go ahead and just reference that and stamp out two of these really cute Cupcakes. I think this is my favorite one. I'll just stamp that one here. And I'm just going to go ahead and take my baby wipe and clean that off because I'm using a brand new ink pad. So I want to make sure it's clean before I put it back on the acetate sheet. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp this cupcake. And then just clean that one off too. And then lastly, just stamp this little cake stand here, or cupcake stand. I think this set is so cute, and it's like one of my favorites for sure. I think it's a lot of favorites from this collection, and when I was working at CHA, um, a lot of people were telling me that this was their favorite set, or they would ask me, um, which set was everyone's favorite and it was always this one so I, I mean I love them all but this one is really really cute and it's so versatile and you could use it in so many different ways so now I'm just gonna go ahead and um, do some quick Copic coloring here on these cupcakes so um, I'm not gonna be doing any blending or anything like that I just want this to be a really fun and simple project but um, I just want these really beautiful pops of color on it as well so I'm just gonna Go ahead and use these colors and I want to keep the plate and the cupcake wrappers a little bit neutral so I'm going to go ahead and use this W1 warm gray color and then I actually ran out of all of my gray Copic colors and um, I've just been a little lazy to kind of buy my refill so I'm just going to use this Spectrum Noir because it works perfectly fine um, and you can't tell that I'm not using a Copic so that's pretty nice. And next I got this idea from Elena. She's uh, one of the awesome design team members on Lanfon. And I saw that she did this on one card and I thought it was so cute. So every time I use this cupcake, I have to do the sprinkles too. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and um, figure out how I want to use this sentiment. For sure I wanted to say have a sweet birthday, but here I was trying to see if the whole thing would fit and it's not going to so I'm just gonna go ahead and take this large birthday here and just put it right under the have a sweet part and I'm gonna use the hippo ink 
I'm just going to do some selective inking here and then try my best to center it. I'm standing behind a tripod and a camera, so I apologize if anything comes out crooked in any of my videos. Oh, well, you know why now. <laughs> okay, and then I'm just going to go ahead and do some selective inking here on the birthday part with the same hippo ink. And then I want to use the exclamation point that's also available in the So Much To Say stamp set. So I'm going to go ahead and um, make a little room for that here and then stamp it separately. Put out a little slight angle. Okay, now that I have that all done, I just want to go ahead and kind of do a quick assembly and double check it and make sure it looks really cute. I want the cupcakes to be really like stacked and topsy-turvy, so um, I was trying to achieve that here and just make sure it looks okay and the colors look great. So now that I have that, I want to go ahead and take a look at all the different types of sequins I have. I have this kit here, a couple of new um, Pretty Pink Posh sequins, the iridescent sequins that I really love. It's my favorite right now. And a different, uh, a few different shades also, or colors. So I decided to go with these here. And I'll have more information on the names on my blog. Um, so now I'm just going to go ahead and take this piece of acetate and I'm going to cut it down to fit um, behind this little window here. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and cut out this piece of acetate to cover this window opening here. So I'm just going to take my ATG adhesive gun and apply the adhesive down onto the cardstock and then just simply place this right over and adhere that. Then I'm going to take this um, Scotch 3D foam adhesive tape. I'm going to cut a piece off and then cut it in half. So I only need to put a border around this window here. So it doesn't have to be the full thickness. I could get more out of this 3D foam if I simply cut it in half. Okay, so I'm just going around it just like that, super simple and easy, just making sure that all the corners connect so that none of the sequins would fall out um, when it's going to be shaken. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm just going to go ahead and apply some more 3D foam adhesive tape around these areas here, because I am going to go ahead and adhere this to um, a top folding card panel. Or, I'm sorry, a card base. <laughs> Okay, now I'm just going to go ahead and take some Tombow Mono Multi Glue and I'm going to go ahead and adhere down the cake stand and the three cupcakes. And for things like this, I do like using the liquid adhesive because you, you have that wiggle room. And it just makes it a little bit easier and I wanted to go with the topsy-turvy cupcake theme so it's a little bit easier to use a liquid glue for something like this so that I could readjust it if I have to or remove it if I have to. Okay and I think that looks really sweet. So now, um, this is actually a tip that I got from Christina Warner and watching her videos. She takes the, um, the powder that comes in these anti-static little pouches that are good for heat embossing, and then she rubs it around just like this on the rim of the window where the um, 3D foam adhesive is. Because sometimes with this type of adhesive, the sequins will stick to it when you peel off the backing of the adhesive. So applying this powder just prevents that from happening. And I really like the look of the white on white. I think it looks really clean and then it leaves more room to add more colors and things like that and the pop pops of color. So here I'm just going to go ahead and have fun with all the sequins that I have and just put in as many fun colors as I think it needs. Yeah. 
and I think that looks really fun. I like how the colors match the cupcakes too, but I think it does need a little bit more, um, but it, it's all, it all depends on your preference. If you want a little bit so that it has a lot more like um, room to move around and shake around, then that's fine. But for this one, I kind of wanted it to be spread out throughout the whole window, so I'm just going to kind of jam pack it full of sequins and decided to add in a few more colors too. That's looking pretty good. But just a little bit more of these iridescent sequins. I'm gonna have to get a couple more bags of these because these are definitely my favorite right now. I think they're really pretty. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and adjust them right there in the center so I could remove the backing and just permanently adhere it to the card base. And there's the card right here. You could go ahead and leave it like this, um, but I just went ahead and added a little bit of twine just for a little bit of extra something. And this is exactly what I was looking for. I kind of wanted the sequins just to stay um, everywhere, and I think it came out really great, and I hope you enjoyed this really cute and simple card. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!